I've been meaning to do a tomato survey anyway, so I might as well do it now. It's like the old check off the list thing. Um, this is one nice group of nine. This F1 hybrid um, indigo kumquat, as we see, is really um, doing spectacular. It's all the way here. It has growth coming up here. In fact, I think um, next year, maybe, I can do, uh, I might try one indigo kumquat where three plants are um, because it's so productive like that. Um, we'll see. Um, note, one of the interesting things is this plant's not doing well, clearly. It's just not doing good. It has a few tomatoes here. The new growth uh, does look pretty good up here. Um, but, you know, yeah, it's, it's not doing great, but it's not killing the plants next to it or anything. You don't have to like remove a pathogen immediately. These plants are swarmed with pathogens. Um, this here is, we, we have quite a nice bit of growth to move on to another plant. But uh, here, down here we see these leaves. And it might be the case that as the leaves get older, the plant doesn't produce, I don't know. I mean, I want to sound like a, you know, from the old days, but like there's a vitality. It doesn't need it as much down here. Um, this is off the hook productive. So it's, uh, I think this one is a uh, gold metal. This is the same plant all of this same plant same base down here um they're huge they're okay tasty i mean this this tomato here is is off the chain um but they're um you know i mean i have them on irrigation i wonder if they're not just swollen with uh, water um and not just swollen in terms of um water weight but also the water lets them grow huge and all this stuff. I don't really know, but I might, I've been looking into dry farming to see what that'll do. Here's another one that's not doing great, right? And interestingly enough, this is where the gorgeous spider web is. Um, so, yeah. So here's some. This plant here is doing medium. It has uh, these three large, decent tomatoes we'll see how they turn out but um that's interesting um i probably could have done that at two but the way that the plant splits you know i don't know if that's how it happened um so here we have i think we got quite a few off this but it's not as doing as well now so um yeah i mean i don't see actually maybe it's all right i see no that's the other plant don't see much more fruit forming so uh that's part of the reason incidentally that i plant so many tomatoes because we have nine here and over here there's 27 more but they don't you know what about this one you know that didn't do much and up here we have quite a bit of uh blossom and rot this whole section it's not too bad i mean you know these aren't too bad but you know yeah and more in here. We've already removed a bunch. Oh, look at that. Come on. Show me the blossoming rot. Um, maybe it's not as bad as uh, as I feel, which is good, but I've definitely picked like, you know, about a dozen that have. Um, this was the oldest. These are the biggest plants. They were planted. Um, they all, all the plants were started, of course, at the exact same time. These got in the ground first. These got plastic over them first. These were the uh, main, you know, push. But as we see, there's almost no difference at this point between these two. Um, even with these, which went in late, or these, which went in super late. These were all planted again at the same time. They went in super late. And this to me is stunning because the soil back there is the worst soil here. In fact, this whole section was abandoned for a few years just to let it fester and get healthier. Um, I don't know if I did a great job on that, actually. I don't think I did. I just kind of dumped stuff there. Too much wood, but maybe the wood helped. Because uh, this is off the hook. I can't believe this plant's doing this well this far north. Um, yeah, so it just shows you maybe tomatoes can do super well here. This is a very thick mulch, maybe a foot or, you know, eight inches. So, um, yeah, and I don't really know what's, what's up with pruning because... You know, you prune them, 
like this thing. And then you get this. This is F1 hybrid. Maybe the F1 hybrids can't. I really got to call Johnny's. Because how, these are from Johnny's, the uh, Valentine and the Indigo Kumquat. Um, how, wh what are you supposed to do? I mean, <laughs> it's like all of this here and this down here, and this has been heavily pruned. And after a while, you just stop because what am I going to do? We have a 40 foot vine? I don't know. Um, this, interestingly enough, is, I'm pretty sure, just our own sun gold. Like this seed came from last year's sun gold it's open pollinated nothing um then we have some of the smaller ones here it's not doing too bad um yeah so yeah i mean that's it clearly i'm just rambling but um just some tomato notes <laughs>